What's up guys, it's me again, chemical engineering guy and we're going to continue with our mass balance course now we're going to talk about single phase mass balance what is a phase and why are we going to study a single phase now, you haven't seen my videos before or the mass balance course before there is an introduction, like general overview of the course, mass balance zero here I show you how to or what are we going to do in general in this course and then we jump to MB1 which is mass balance course one here is in general introduction of mass balance theory and mass balance exercises theory and exercise like the basics now since we already know the theory and ex some exercise, like basic theory, basic ex exercise, we're going to continue with our study of mass balance substances. So we're going to continue with this single phase chapter, which I bring you here the content. I broke it in two sections. Section one is super fast, super easy. It's just a little bit theory of phases and liquids and solids. It's nice because we can do the mass balance as before. I just want to remark something about density. But it's easy. Now the I think this is about 20% of the content and section 2 which is actually the most part of this section. We're going to talk about gases, the dependence of pressure, temperature, volume, etc. Of course, we're going to talk about ideal, ideal gas, hopefully you've seen it before. And we're going to talk about real gases now. I think this is the first approach you should have in engineering, since chemistry only, like the basic course of chemistry, only teaches about ideal gases. Now, real gases, we're going to see cubic equations, uh, we're going to see virial equations, and more importantly, we're going to see the C compressibility factor, which I think this is the most important one of all these, these equations. Maybe you know Van der Waals, Penn Robinson, the Virial equation. There are many. Actually, we are not going to see that much. We're going to see that they exist and how to use them, but we're not going to use them for mass balances. For the other side, I think we are going to use the C compressibility factor for the problems. So. Yeah, of course we're going then to finish with some mass balances with gases. And that means you need to practice a lot because, you know, practice makes the master. And yeah, I think I'm going to break the video here. We're going to start with section one and see you in the next video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.